guys welcome back to the channel girl how you doing i had so much fun with a lot of products in 2021 and i just want to share with you guys some pressed powders so i tried out a few pressed powders for the year of 2021 probably didn't come out in 2021 probably 2020 but either way they're still on the shelf so i have two drugstore and all the rest are high-end all of these are great products you don't have to go buy them but i recommend them i have favorites okay that i talked about a lot on this channel and i will continue talking about them these are the products that really works for my skin i look for coverage how it sell it into the skin. So I wanted to put a little drugstore in there just in case that you guys on a budget and you want to pick up any of these, you can. So we're going to start off with the drugstore first because I only have two. This one is from Black Opal and I did deposit this one, but girl, I don't have any space to put it. So I just have it in here. This is it here. It's in the bottom here. I kind of like spoil it a little bit. I don't even know why I deposited this, but it kind of fit. <laughs> It kind of fit in there and mind you it comes like this right and it, when I took it out from the packaging it can't fit so I just put it in the bottom here and I don't have any space to put it so I just leave it in here okay and this is the true color ultra matte foundation powder so this is really really good for oily skin so I give you guys you know one for oily skin and also I have dry skin if you guys don't know and this is really really good for both so if you have dry skin I won't recommend to put under the eyes because girl that's gonna look so bad under the eyes don't do it really really pretty on the skin this is a really good product so I only focus this on around my face I don't put it all over because it's a matte finish powder and it tends to be a little drying if you put too much of it so just be careful if you have dry skin but I only use this in the summertime because I do sweat a lot in the summertime so I use this powder around that time uh, winter time I don't really mess with it because my skin is a little drier around that time but anyway this is a good product get it if you guys could find it um, the other one is from number seven I did a review on this I compare it with the Charlotte Tilbury powder and this is one of my best powder from the drugstore and this is it here okay this is the number seven and this is a great product as you guys know i talk about this powder all the time okay and i wanted to give you guys an alternative if you can afford the charlotte tilbury powder this is really good and this is deep yes it's a little light but when you put it on your face it's okay this is number seven leaf and luminate triple action powder foundation and this is deep i got this from walgreens this is around 12 dollars. this is a great powder if you can't afford the charlotte tilbury powder okay it works the same and i use this for all over the face at times and sometimes if i just want to focus it on the eyes i do that i also had picked up another one which is a lighter one just to focus it on the eyes because i like a bright on the eye it's not a full coverage powder i don't use this on its own because it really don't give me that much coverage so we're just gonna go away the high end so i'm gonna go with the charlotte tilbury first because i just talked about it so this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder i talked about this all the time and i'm actually wearing this powder today and this is a great powder like i don't even know what to tell you guys about this just like get it i almost hit pan okay because i use this a lot what i do like about this is the packaging it's just really really cute it's very nice on the skin i love it i tend to use this under the eyes most of the time not around the face but today i use it for both it looks really natural on my skin and this foundation is a little dark for me but it just take out that redness on my skin love it so okay. this is the one that i was telling you guys about with the number seven the charlotte tilbury one is a little bit lighter as you guys could see i'm not sure if you could pick it up from the camera but the charlotte tilbury one is a little lighter than this one so it's a little darker i like both of them so if you can't afford the charlotte tilbury get the number seven this is one of the best powders from charlotte tilbury and i'm gonna continue using it because it's good so the other one is from pat mcgrath labs this is the skin fetish sublime perfecting blurring on the eye powder it's an on the eye powder but i use this for all over the face as well this is a great product the only thing i don't like it's too small for the price so i really do like this powder this is the shade deep 
I just like what I like. And if you can afford any of these, you don't have to get it. Okay. You, you could get the drugstore one that I shown you guys. If I'm using a foundation that is too dark, this works really good for it. And it looks very natural on the skin as well. So the other one is from Joey. This is the soft focus hydrate and set powder. And this is dark. So you could set it and you could put all over the face. This is really good for dry skin. And this is it here. This is dark. Girl, this is a beautiful finish. It really don't settle into fine lines. All of these don't settle into fine lines. And it's a very natural finish. I don't use it to set under the eyes because it's a little darker. Maybe you could get a lighter one if you want, but... Joey stuff is very expensive. I have other products that I could use under the eyes, but this is a great product for dry skin, okay? And the other one is from MAC Cosmetics. This is a great product from MAC. This is here. And this is a mineralized skin finish natural foundation powder. Beautiful on the skin. It just looks like skin when I use this. Uh, it also has a mirror in there okay and this is a beautiful finish powder been out for years and this is one of mac best powders okay i love it whenever i use this my skin look very very healthy this don't really give me like a full coverage but it gives a nice flawless finish just to set not to wear on its own i don't really like how it looks on its own i just like it to set my foundation and it works really good this one is my favorite and if you guys been following me for a while, you probably know what I'm talking about. This is it here, girl. I didn't have to talk about it, girl. You just have to like, just, just look at it. Just, she's beautiful. Might be dirty, but she's good. This is from Fenty, girl. The Soft Matte Powder Foundation. This is the shade 410. Girl, you could use this on its own. You could set, you could do whatever you want. This is a full coverage, okay? I wear this on its own in the past. Beautiful finish. It looks flawless. I tend to use it a lot. I try my best not to use it too much because girl, I don't want it to finish. And I'm almost hitting pan because girl, this is just such a great product. I like to have a powder just in case. I don't want to put any foundation on. I just want to put a little powder and this is it. All the other powders that I just shown you guys, if you use it on its own, I don't think you're going to give you like a full coverage. Powders are just to set. This one, girl, you could set it. You could use it on its own. It just look really, really beautiful on its own. So if you're using a light foundation, it really don't give you much coverage. This will give you the full coverage that you need. And this is why I always recommend this powder for you guys because it's a really good product. So I have dry skin and I never had a problem where this product is too matte it really don't sell it into fine lines it's just a beautiful overall product and i do recommend this for you guys i'm not even kidding now if you just want something to set and just go after you put your product on i'll recommend the others that i just shown you guys if you don't have the money to buy the charlotte tilbury powder get the number seven i will put a link down below if you guys want to try this out if you are lighter than myself they have other shades that you could try out so let me know in the comments below what you guys think about all all of these products that I share with you guys today. If this is your first time here, don't forget to hit that notification bell and subscribe to the channel. And to my OGs, thank you guys so much for sticking around. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. So thank you guys so much. See you guys in the next video. Bye guys.